All right, everybody. So this is going to be a face tutorial, a proportions tutorial. I am going to kind of go through it in a way that has helped me learn how to draw faces and how to draw measurements and proportion and all that. But there, this is not the only way to draw a face. I always like to talk about Leonardo da Vinci when I'm talking about proportions because he came up with the Vitruvian Man. He recorded a lot of proportion ideas in his sketchbook. During the Renaissance period, he painted the Mona Lisa, very famous painting today. He would draw hundreds of sketches of people and animals just to figure out get a better idea of how they work and that's a good way to learn about things is drawing them and kind of piecing it together in your mind as you are putting it on on paper i encourage you to do all kinds of research look up things and can be looking at youtube videos and looking at tiktok and looking at instagram and just kind of thinking about things that are around you What I'm going to show is I have a oval that I'm going to split up into a couple of different sections. There is a line down the middle. There is a line across the face horizontally. Just remember to draw these very light. You do not actually need to see these at the end. So I've split it up into a couple of different sections. So that top horizontal line is where our eyes are going to go. The middle horizontal line is where our nose is going to go, and the bottom one is where our mouth is going to go. That's actually our eye line, and then I'm splitting it up into sections because there are five equal segments on this line. One in the middle, then the two on the outside, and then the other two that frame those. There are five equal sections. If you took one of your eyes and put it in the middle of your head, that's the distance apart your eyes are. And if you go from the outer corner of your eye to the edge of your face, that's also one eyeball. So that's why we have five ovals right here. If I erase those, you can see now my eyes are about in the center of my head I'm going to put my iris and pupil which is the colored part is the iris and the pupil is the little black part in the center of your eye on this next line where the nose is going to go I have kind of a shortcut to draw noses, and I'm going to draw it off to the side just so you can see it a little bit better. It's like a little squiggly line with two parentheses around it. And I'm going to put the mouth. Um, I'm also drawing off to the side. I drew a couple of, like just so you could see a little bit better off to the side, I drew a couple of practice mouths. It's important that the eyelids are cutting off the top and the bottom of the iris. That way it looks like you're resting. Your person looks like they're resting and looking calmly instead of shocked. All right, so now I'm gonna just sketch in these ears. They're roughly in between my eyes and my nose. I'm just using my finger to smudge out some of this pencil line, like the bridge of the nose. And then to make it not so flat, I'm just going back in with my eraser, and putting some highlights back in. So I have a little bit of shadow, a little bit of highlight, it's making my face look a little bit more realistic. 
Now I'm just going to try some different hairstyles, short hairstyles, curly hairstyles, long hairstyles. I can do another video of that another time, but I'm just kind of putting on a, dip, a couple of different hairstyles to show different things. For one thing, if your hair is super short, like if you have a buzz cut, you're still going to take your hairline down to your ears. Tip for drawing hair is whatever direction the hair is going, just loosely sketching them into place. What direction is the line going? What direction do you have your hair style going up? Is it wavy? Now I'm just trying a bunch of different hairstyles. I got a request from a student to draw a self-portrait, so I've actually started to turn this drawing into a self-portrait, putting on features like fixing the lips, and here's me totally messing up the lips. That's a little bit better. I don't think I got the lips very well, but that's okay. I also think my eyes ended up being too far apart, which is what I mean when I say the the rules, the proportion rules, are not always perfect. They are a good guideline, but there's always something that can be tweaked a little bit. Now I'm just coloring with a couple of skin tones. I have like So just like earlier, when I was smudging the gray pencil, and using my eraser to kind of put highlights back in, you're kind of doing the same thing with shading with your color pencil. For instance, I don't really have any hard lines that are showing you the bridge of the nose, but I have a highlight on the bridge of the nose and then I have shaded darker around the nose to give you that illusion that there is a highlight bouncing off the nose. It's really, when you color hair, it's really important to make all of your lines go in the direction that your hair is going. So there was a minute there where I started to shade just side to side, which was not looking good. It was just kind of looking flat. I'll put on a little bit of eyeliner. Always got the wing and I've gotten really into matte lipsticks. So we're in a nice rosy matte lip. If you are not interested in looking like you're wearing lipstick though, my tip is color your lips a little bit with pink and then go over it with whatever skin tone color you are coloring with. So I'm gonna make a couple of adjustments. I am gonna try to take this gold and put it on my eyelids. And it did not smudge like I thought it would. So now it is kind of all over my eyebrows. That's all right. And that's okay. I'm gonna grab some glitter. I've been wearing a lot of glitter, so that's pretty much what you would see in real life if you were with me. I've been putting a lot of glitter on my eyebrows. I don't know why. What are you gonna do? All right, everybody, so my challenge to you is to kind of follow this tutorial, maybe look up some other tutorials, kind of pull from different resources for drawing faces. All right, thanks for watching and happy art making.